Hi everyone, it's Linda from Linda Z's in Arlington Heights and my daughter Debbie who's doing our camera today. Hi. We uh, had a little glitch with our last video. If you remember, I had some really great notions I was showing you and then I was going to have Mary take it away for this wonderful brother 1600, 1600 which is an embroidery only and somehow that didn't get attached. But What's really wonderful is that I know you guys are all watching now <laughs> because I immediately, uh, we've been trying to get them at eight in the morning so that, you know, it can start your day and hopefully give you a little laugh and something fun. And uh, about eight, 10 or 8, 12, I started getting all these little emails. <laughs> these little the ones. video wasn't attached. There right. was the wrong video. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. thank you guys for thank watching. you for letting us know. I really so the video um, is on our YouTube channel now at Linda Z Sewing Center. So if you go on YouTube, the the you can look for our channel. There's over a hundred videos on there now, and that video will be there. <laughs> no, we've done a lot, haven't we, Mom? You know, um, for those of us that are a little technically challenged. Um, YouTube, don't agree with me, Debbie. <laughs> no, I didn't say a word. <laughs> On the uh, YouTube channel, um, if you notice, we would love to have you subscribe when you watch it. If you, there's a little button on the right side that you just write subscribe or touch it. Uh -huh. And then uh, that way you'll be notified every time there's a new video, even if we do decide to change it or whatever time we're putting it out. So I hope that helps. We have a wonderful, wonderful tech. Um, marketing, IT, my grandson, Nicholas, Nicola. Mm -hmm. And if you ever have any questions about that, he really doesn't mind. And you just email him at Nicola. Mm -hmm. He's going to love this. Uh, <laughs> at I'm not so sure, yeah. <laughs> but, hey. And I see all else. Oh, mom, mom, come on. <laughs> Woo. Okay. But I'm sure he can help you. I really do. Yeah, well, he's helpful. So sure. we are going yes. to show you again how to do some hemming on a serger. I think that's, um, there's a lot of sergers that we carry, a lot that I own personally. How many out there have more than one sewing machine? <laughs> okay. Yeah. How many of you have more than one serger? How many have a serger at all? Okay. And how many Some have it out of their closet? And you know, <laughs> I have heard that there are, and, and I love your comments, I really do, that there are quite a few of you that are really new sewers. And when I say things like uh, put the right size together, you're not really even sure what I'm talking about. And so that really tells me that I have to be very specific, like on this Whoops. Fatigue, which is one of my mask leftovers, uh, there's no right or wrong side. So you know on a garment, on any garment, usually on the right side you can see it looks a little nicer, and on the back side usually it doesn't look as nice. That's not true on a batik. They're front and back the same. Mm -hmm. And I would really encourage you, I've done this before, talked to you, but I know I get a lot of new people every day. Mm -hmm. So um, try and make those masks out of the, the uh, batik. They really are the best fiber out there for you. And then of course, if you use the HEPA filters and whatever else you're gonna be doing. I wanna show you something before we get started though. This little scissors. Karen K. Frankly, Buckley, yeah, those are awesome scissors. And you know, when I first got them, I didn't really like them because I was trying to use them to trim and cut and all that. You know what they're for? They're, they're for clipping. And they are Just phenomenal. When you get into they have serrated edges on the on the blades. And you see how so I it can, holds on. To, it just, look at how uh, I got in there. Yeah. I mean, it's you can just go clip, 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 clip. What? I mean, you wouldn't believe it. Clip, clip. <laughs> you hear it almost. See that little mm -hmm. it's also, V that was mm -hmm. taken out of there. It's good for any kind of trimming. It's yeah. really true. I mean, it, it's one of the sharpest little scissors, but it's not for, for applique for cutting. Work. It's really good for applique. Yeah. When you want to get right close into that stitch line when you want to trim your appliques. Yep. Because many people, even our advanced sewers, will ask, um, you've seen in a lot of my videos that I have, this is called the stash, I don't know, stash thing. <laughs> and I have one by, I, I sometimes have two by every machine. And I always put my favorite scissors in there. And of course, this is the one with the little curve, 
that I think is just absolutely wonderful. And my little cleaning oh, brush sorry, I'm not that's over and above, that little one that's over and mm -hmm. above. And you'll see it, mm -hmm. that these are tools that I use all the time. Mm -hmm. Quite often I can't find my USB stick. Quite often? To transfer something. <laughs> <laughs> Most <Always>. often. Most <laughs> often. <laughs> so now what I'm doing is I'm putting mm -hmm. these USB sticks, you'll see them in my stash and gold. Stash and gold. What about your keys? Gold. You can't put your keys in there, huh? No, when you misplace those, just, Mom? They'll just be lost. <laughs> <laughs> we, and, we talk and, about putting an alarm on her keys, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> and you do know um, Mary's wonderful tweezers, but I'm going to show you a different oh, tweezer today. Yeah, this is the test tube uh, tweezer. Oh, but we have another one by the machine yeah, in the other I'm, room? I okay. love this. I yes. would not be without I do too. this. But I'm going to go. Relatively Let's new. go to the machine. Let's go to the I machine. I want to show them about a hem. Okay, perfect. Let's go. See you there. Here we are in front of my brother, 3550. Okay, let me zoom in. Can you see it real close, what this says here? And this is a cover stitch only machine. Now, I don't want to scare you with that, but I think that it would be important for you to know what a cover stitch is. Why I bought this machine, quite frankly, is not for this, because the inside here is a four thread stitch, and I did that on my baby lock. But when I wanted to do or my or hems, any. or any, mm -hmm. yeah, you could do it on any of your other uh, sergers. Now, do you see, I I still have this tail, and I, okay, see that little tail? Uh -huh. And what I've done is I've taken my um, measuring ruler, and I've just measured an inch all the way around. And, of course, I use my little clips, and they should be on this side because you want the flat side down. Okay. Now, they, the reason that they might have been on the other side, I might have just, I might have been thinking I was going to sew from this side. But I have decided I want to show you both stitches. This stitch is a five thread stitch. So Debbie, if you can get the threads, one, two, three, four, and five. five. And if you look here, we've got one, two, three, four, and five. Mm -hmm. They are very easy to thread. I know it sounds complicated, but it really isn't. I, always, I call this little thing like my little arm that goes back and forth. And watch when I start to sew this, because this is like the, um, the stitch that you're going to see in a lot of the ready-made that has the... Um, athletic, yeah, athletic, all the road, athletic clothing and, and things like that. And yeah. real expensive uh, shirts today. This oh, is sure. going to just be cut off so afterwards. It's got the seam on the outside, too. It's right. really pretty stitching on the outside. Now, do you see what's happening here? Do you see that arm, the way it's going back and again? forth? I'll, I'll go over it again. Underneath there's an arm. Can't right, really see it this one right here. It's okay. just kind of going. Okay. The thread right here. This this maybe was if I caught on this side. Try it again. Right. Um, and you see that that straight stitch that is um, coming up here. Now you can see on the back it's got a heavier thread, whereas on the front it's not going to be quite as nice. So I'm going to turn this over to another leg. Excuse me. Oh, sorry. And I'm going to show them what it might look like on the front. So here we are back. I finished the one leg, and Debbie doesn't mind. She has two different legs. I'm like, Mom's making me pajamas. <laughs> I don't care if one leg has one stitch. In but I other. wanted to show you, because this is one of the stitches that you can do on this machine, and it's with a triple stitch. Now, normally when I'm doing these myself, I do this triple stitch on the outside. It shows. Yeah. Right. But these stitches are meant to be either right side, which means the outside, or the inside. And I like this stretch yeah, stitch it's showing. Pretty. It's very nice. It's mm -hmm. a little softer here. So um, that's one one method that you can do. That's where, when I did this, I didn't hook the thread oh, around sorry. this little uh, piece right here. I know it's kind of difficult to see. We do show this in classes. And I do want to let you know, this is not a beginner serger. It's not an advance either, but it is for somebody that has already had a serger <laughs> and that is <laughs> doing regular surging. Yeah. Because if you decide that you want to start out with this, um, I, I will, really wouldn't recommend it. So now you see what I'm going to do. This little hook right here is going to catch the thread. And it's hard to see it because I'm going pretty fast. But I'm going to try and slow down. A see that little extra thread? And watch when my, where my finger is. So it's coming over and hitting my thumb. Mm -hmm. See how it kind of catches the thread? Now here's something else I do when I do a surged hem. Now see, it's going to be the same on the, t on the back as the front, but this front, I mean, the right side here is gonna have that little rough edge like the other one does. 
But before, when I get about this far, and I've already pulled these up, I pull these threads to the right side. And then what I do is I take and I literally knot them. And you probably wouldn't have to do it if you go around it, but I guarantee you, when you're making, say, kids' pajamas, not this kid, but any kid. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a big they're, kid. They're probably rough on it. And then mm -hmm. what I do when I'm finished, I take this bottle of Freycheck, and I always have a little pin on my zircle, even though it's a thing, and I go right in there and open it up because that is going to be, and I leave that for my zircle. And then I'm not going to do it right now, but I would put a little drop. Well, I'm getting a little, well, drop, getting on a little drop on there. <laughs> uh -huh. And that will dry. And then after that is dried, then I'll trim those threads. Now, the one that is this side, that's caught. That's the one that goes over that hook. And when you go around and I finish this edge all the way around, it'll get caught again. So you can see, I'll just keep going. And then I want to show them a couple of other things. See how I'm going through the um, edge? And I I will trim this when I'm through because when I'm going this fast, I usually don't have, um, well, it depends. I, if I've got real good light, then I, uh, and I press this. And I'm gonna stop right now because I'm gonna show them this little pressing thing that I have. And I don't know where I put it now. And it is one of the coolest little things. So, oh, those were the tweezers that you wanted to show from the other room, Oh, right. Remember? This was and the, the see how they're on a, to show that too. Right, these are because they're on a hook. And that's why I can get in there and just pull whatever thread that I want. Also, when I'm doing these tails, I will trim off some of those. I don't trim it right to the edge because that's going to go right underneath when you're doing and your hand. And be sewn down. Yeah, it'll be sewn right. down. It'll be sewn all down. Mm -hmm. And this, I will just kind of leave right here and, and I'll sew right over it so it's finished when you're um, through. But the um, what I can do too, if I didn't want to knot it, I could take my number nine applique. Hand needle, I, hand sewing right, needle. And I that's, would put that. That four letter word, hand sewing. <laughs> right, see that little opening right there? Uh -huh. See how I put that down in there? Sure. I could take a thread, let's see if I can pull a thread out here. And I don't know if you're seeing this real carefully, but I might have two. Don't you know, it on surface one. usually when you do that? Well, you or can, you but I'm so used to it that what I'm going to do, click it. You mean when you're on your couch in front of Hawaii oh. 5 <laughs> That's uh, over now. <laughs> oh, it's over now? Oh, okay. Now, do you see how <laughs> I've done this? I've got a little loop there, and I can pull it through, except I've got a knot, and this is an old a thread that I pulled from the yes, trash. From your stash. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so now you can see when I pull this through. See how easy that was to thread? Sure. I don't have glasses on. I don't, I'm don't. i not in real good light here. <laughs> but this is one. Of, and then, say it was one of these threads. Then I could bring it back to this side and tie a knot over here. So these two tools are one of your best tools when you are doing any kind of hemming and going around. And, of course, your fray check. Your needle and, threader there. I don't know if they noticed no, what else that. I had. Yeah, the needle threader is... Um, phenomenal. It's right there in the bed of the machine. You see it oh, there? Oh, I'm going to show that in a minute. There. Yeah. Okay. But this little piece, you see it's kind of a little sticky there? And what I use this for, it, it's a great marker if you want to make sure. I don't need it on this because I, I've got everything marked and I go around. But I use this all the time. You can see I have them here because they come off real easy. I can go real close. Ooh, I can go all that, the way down. I don't know the name of that, so we're going to have to put that on the, on the website. It'll be on the website. But okay. another thing I want to show them, as long as I'm up here with this serger, is this is an open arm serger, this brother. Free arm, um, yes. Yeah, free 3550. Mm -hmm. And you can see I could really have put that right on. And then I could sew on here. I don't need the open arm on this one. Mm -hmm. Where I would need the open arm is if I am sewing on the front. Um, I have another pair of, of a sleeve behind or, me. Or uh -huh, even if I'm doing this pair. Now I'm going to finish that first. But say that I wanted to go around, and I do use it when I'm doing that. See, I'll go so goes, all the way around, yeah. all the way around. And because you're doing on a machine like this so many of the hems, it really is a wonderful machine to be able to do when you have the open arm. Most sergers, I I never would use an open arm. But when you're doing a cover hem where you want to do it on the outside, now remember, this has got that beautiful stretch stitch that you can use it on the inside or the right side. And the last thing that I want to show them, because I know we are kind of going over here, <clears throat> this duckbill is key 
Now, do you see how close I can get to that? I don't think you can I'll see I'll get close how. to that for two. Well, look at camera. how close. Nice. See, so if you haven't got that exactly for, for even, honey and for look applique. at how nice that I is. I use that on applique all yeah. the time, that scissor. Right. And there is another duck bill that I do love. It actually even a little bit more than this. It's got a little um, little point on it, and you can get right in there even, or even closer. That so a good one too. I hope this gives you some good ideas. The Oh, the last thing. Of course. Right. <laughs> now, this has a wonderful little needle threader in it. And if I push it out, you can, you can see, see it. Hook. See it there? Yep. It so pushes the thread through the eye of the needle. To thread, yep. And I, when I go to thread this, I just push it in, and it goes right through. And the other thing that is wonderful about this is that in my little drawer here, I've got a whole Whoops. bunch of needles. So mm -hmm. let me grab one. <clears throat> and what I can do, this isn't a Bernina, but, um, but it certainly will take the same needle, although this package is pretty open you can see my wonderful drawer it's full oh i didn't of show that mom Don't oh worry. it's i probably have i know you i'm not showing that drawer 200 <laughs> i probably have 200 needles in there and um, probably even more than that <laughs> and why do you think i have so many because, because you need so many <laughs> but often you're again, changing I'm, back and forth between right. different types of sewing you for really sure. are everyone needs change. different types of needles and you can see on this particular one <clears throat> i take that needle out and I can put this, see how there's a flat side to the back? Wait, I, I, see, actually, so, I was, your finger was in the way there. Okay, okay. so okay. see how there's a flat side here? Uh -huh. And, and there's it, a rounded side here? Uh, so I can go wonderful. right up into the machine. <gasps> that's and, such a great tool. So that's the one side. And then this is the side that I do the threading with. And there's a little hook to bring that loop back. Mm -hmm. So this little tool is, is uh, going to be on our website for yeah, sure. Yeah, it's a wonderful yeah, one. Indispensable tool. Okay, so right. I hope that gives you a little bit of an idea about um, hemming and uh, how wonderful this cover stitch is on the uh, brother. And we will be back with some other uh, wonderful videos in the future. Okay, <laughs> okay. thanks, Mom. Have a good day. All right, day. bye, everyone. Okay. <laughs>